Hello, this is Bruce Ackley from The Ohio State University, and in this presentation I will be talking about seedling root growth inhibitors. This is one in a series of talks discussing the mode of action site of action identification chart that was developed as part of the Take Action Herbicide Resistant Management Program. This presentation will be covering the mode of action seedling root growth inhibitors. This mode of action includes the site of action group 3, also known as the microtubule inhibitors. Currently, six different weed species are resistant to this site of action. This site of action contains two different chemical families, a number of active ingredients, along with a greater number of products that corresponds to those active ingredients. The take home from this chart is you can be spraying any of these products, but you are actually only spraying for this one site of action or one mode of action which in theory can increase the chance of developing herbicide resistant weeds. Now to reinforce the idea and look at it slightly different. One, model, one mode of action, one site of action, two herbicide families, a larger number of active ingredients, uh, all within this one site of action. So you can be spraying any of those active ingredients, but you're actually only spraying, again, one site of action, one mode of action. The common name or active ingredient name is universal. The trade name and premixes have a lot of variation. Always know what you are spraying. Premixes are products or trade names with multiple active ingredients. Know all the active ingredients in your premixes and which active ingredients are providing control. Seedling root growth inhibitors. How do they kill the weed? So site of uptake, uh, they're in the soil, no post-emergence activity. Location of injury is the root tips and hypocotyl. Uh, selectivity, generally annual grasses controlled plus some broad leaves. Inhibit inhibition or damage cause block cell division, so no growth of seedling. So in corn we have the club swollen roots, the stunting and purple shoots, and soybeans we have the swollen hypocotyl and brittle stems. So we can see the nice clubbed swollen roots. Uh, there's the purple shoots. Uh, the swollen hypocotyl and soybean, and uh, the brittle stem. So, so this is number nine out of eleven with the mode of action, site of action identification chart discussion series. Uh, visit the first site for more information on site of action education. Visit the second site uh, to view time elapsed photography movies of herbicide injury on plants and other educational weed science videos. Thank you for watching and listening, and thank you to our sponsors for supporting this project.